Hello and welcome to another in a series of technology tips brought to you by K2 Enterprises. My name is Tommy Stevens and it will be my pleasure to share with you today a little bit of information about how you can solve certain formatting issues that you might be having in Excel using a very little known command called Center Across Selection. Hope you're looking forward to a great tip, a great session. I certainly am. It's always a pleasure to get to present these and I think we've got some really good and useful information for you lined up in this particular session. Now as we get started, let's make sure that we understand we're not talking about Excel's traditional center function here. We'll get to that in just a moment, but we really want to focus in this session on the two competing alternatives for centering, uh, let's call it multiple cells of data, those being merge and center and center across selection. Merge and center you have likely seen on the home tab of your ribbon. It's right there. It's visible. Uh, and that's probably why merge and center gets more attention gets more use than the other alternative center across selection which is kind of hidden inside Excel's user interface. What we find though is that most users will be much better off if they will take the time to access the center across selection feature because when we use the merge and center feature certain other Excel features become disabled. Let's begin to give you a show and tell on what that looks like. Now as I jump into a very, very simple Excel report, and I'm looking at these column headers, for example, in cells B5 through F5, there's really no magic to centering the information in those cells. I can select all of those cells, I can go to the Home tab of the ribbon, and I can obviously click the center icon right up there at the top in the alignment group, and of course that data is centered perfectly. That's not our concern today. Rather, what is our concern is how do we take something like these titles, these headers, if you will, uh, that are stored in cells A1 through A3, and how do we center that information across the top of the entire report? Now, some are doing that with the Merge and Center feature, as I mentioned just a moment ago. To take advantage of that feature, we would simply select the cell that contains the text and the range over which we want that text centered, as I have done. And then I will click Merge and Center, and I see now that K2 Enterprises LLC is perfectly centered from columns, uh, what is that, A through F. And likewise, I would repeat that process for the data sitting in cell A2 merge and center, and finally then for the cell, uh, the data, I'm sorry, in cell A3 merge and center that. And at this point, many people are saying, okay, that's perfect. You've got it centered just the way you want. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal with merge and center is once we use this tool, other features in Excel become disabled. For example, once you apply Merge and Center, your ability to sort data in a given column inside the report may become disabled. Likewise, Merge and Center limits your ability to paste data into the merged range. And interestingly, and you may have noticed this when I went through the process of actually uh, using Merge and Center uh, to center those, uh, those uh, report headers, I should say, across uh, columns A through F, you notice that I had to do that one row at a time. That is to say, I cannot apply Merge Center to multiple ranges simultaneously. Now, for these reasons, and perhaps others that uh, will, will remain unmentioned, in most cases, you should probably avoid using Merge and Center and instead opt for Excel's Center Across Selection command. Let's show you how that works, and to do that, I am going to start out by unmerging the data that we had previously merged together. So from the Home tab of the ribbon, I will choose Merge and Center, and that puts uh, everything back where it was to begin with. Now, Center across selection is not a new feature. Let's clear that up right away. Center across selection has been in Excel for many, many, many years. It just is difficult to find, and that's probably the reason that Merge and Center remains relatively popular. To access Center across selection, click on the Dialog Launcher. That's that little arrow in the lower right-hand corner. Click on the Dialog Launcher in the Alignment group on the Home tab of the ribbon. And when you do so, that opens, as you can see, the Format Cells dialog box. Now, you might be more of a keyboard shortcut-oriented person. Uh, as you likely know, there are keyboard shortcuts to get to this same place, but we're just going to focus on the mouse-driven approach today. In the Format Cells dialog box, to access Center Across Selection, in the horizontal drop-down list, you will choose Center Across Selection, and then click OK to complete the process. Let's do a live example. 
First, notice now I'm selecting that same text, but I'm selecting all three rows simultaneously. So I can apply center across selection to multiple ranges at the same time. Then click on the dialog launcher in the alignment group, go to alignment, horizontal, center across selection, and click OK. Now, as you can see, my data looks exactly the way it did just a few moments ago with Merge and Center, but I have none of the negative side effects associated with Merge and Center. All of my columns and all of the cells within the columns remain, remain as uh, individual cells, discrete cells. That's not true if you merge. If you merge, you, in this case, would actually be losing cells B1 through F3. Those would all be merged into A1 through A3. But when we use center across selection, we maintain the integrity and the independence of each cell. Merge and center today remains a very popular feature in Excel. And, it, and, and there are times perhaps when we should be using merge and center. I would submit, however, that the reason that merge and center is probably a more popular alternative today is not because it's a better tool, but because it's a more convenient tool. That is, it's available directly on the home tab of the ribbon. As an alternative, though, to Merge and Center, let me strongly encourage you to consider using Center Across Selection. Although Center Across Selection is a little bit more challenging to find in the uh, user interface inside Excel, it does indeed provide superior results, in my opinion at least, as compared to Merge and Center. And in particular, there are no negative consequences associated with utilizing Center Across Selection. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please come back and visit us again. We try to get out uh, technology tips uh, several times each month, and we hope that we'll be able to serve you again in the very near future. Thank you.